Good morning, y'all. I'm going to try to do better about making a video today. Um, I'm probably going to end up splicing a bunch of these videos from every day together and hope y'all can interpret it because most days it's just me and daddy working on stuff and it's kind of impossible to record everything. And yesterday we had Paul and Ryan. Paul, her, Paul helps every day he's off work. He's a fireman, so he works. 48 on and 48 off. My cousin, Ryan, he also helps when he's off. He has a little bit different schedule, but it's difficult. I'll just say that. Um, every morning, I either drink some kind of... I drink some kind of caffeine, whether it's coffee or Ignite. But even when I drink, like, Black Rifle coffee, I'll drink one of these drinks, too, to get my BCAAs. Hang on. My creatine. And my collagen in. Oh, but I'm in a hurry this morning. I had a little tiny bit of coffee when Paul got up this morning and went to work. But now I think we're just going to go right to some Ignite. We mix them. We mix them. But, going to try to do better today about getting videos. I really need to make one for Dad's page on how he's building and putting together these trusses. Because it's a pretty cool process. He's done them before. He built a wedding venue for my aunt and uncle a few years ago with the same type of trusses. Lord, I'm almost out of this stuff. I need to order some more. Yeah. Anyways, my life is spastic right now. I'm sorry. We'll try to do better. Um, if you want codes for any of the stuff I use, like Mountain Ops, my code is Hannah, all capital letters. Black Rifle Coffee is Hannah 15. It's just if y'all want to use it to save you a little money. But thank y'all for following along and thank y'all for watching. Gonna try. Gonna try today. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. We're also not gonna talk about how good I match because I'll be shedding layers. After a while, it's cold right now. It's supposed to warm up to 60 something. Mm. So, the video on how we built and put together these huge trusses for the house is up on dad's page if y'all don't already know that's jeff Barron. he has his own youtube channel i split them up into two videos to make it a little easier now we are hauling these rafters over here to the house, got them all put together and I'm following dad now on the side by side. I'm about to turn the camera around so y'all can see this load of trusses. There are 11 trusses on this trailer. Thankfully, we're just on our land. We didn't have to get on like any main roads or anything, but here it is. Look at all that. And those are 11 five by 10 trusses. Or the whole thing's not 5 by 10 but they're made out of 5 by 10s Y'all know what I mean. Big. So now we're setting the trusses. Thank God for the law. Or we wouldn't be able to do all this. Got the three up so far. Whew. After he gets it set, 
I'll get in the lull and he'll get up and measure each side and see what adjustments need to be made. And if it needs to be moved, I can move it from the lull. Or he can bump it. Um, two. Meryl. Got, oh, let me trip. Got the trusses up. Thanks to Daddy being like a daggum spider monkey and the lull. And Cousin Ryan for coming to help too. And they turned out beautiful. What's next, Daddy? What are we doing tomorrow? The outside walls. The last two walls and the lath up there. And then it'll be ready for 10. Yeah, it can be ready for 10 by tomorrow afternoon if, Just, if we didn't have to fill those exterior, you know, those gable in walls, we could have it ready for. Just me and you tomorrow. Yep. We got them up there, though. Yeah. We got four more right here. It's going to go in the front and the back. We have three there, and we got one laying on the ground out there. We need to stack it back on the trailer to keep it straight. But that middle one was uh, a lot easier than we was thinking it was going to be. Yeah, we thought it was going to be pretty tough to get it in there, but we put us a strong back on it and just walked it over, just pushed it over. Like them things probably weighed between, we were figuring between probably 800 and 1,000 pounds a piece because they're still green. <clears throat> so. Pretty heavy stuff. I don't know. Hmm. But we got them up there. And we got everything perfect. So, you know, we kept our 20 foot on the exterior walls and everything. So, that's what I was worried about. But that was the reason we didn't put the walls on the end. So, so I could get, get that lull. lull. Yeah, get that lull in there. Couldn't have done it without the lull. No, you can't pick them up. I mean, there's no way. I mean, it was all we wanted just to stand the, the truss up on the law and then ratchet strap it to the headache rack on it to hold it up and then fly them up there. Yeah. But we didn't have enough headroom to swing them. So we had to fork them and then stand them up on the fork. Like I said, ratchet strap them to the rack and then fly them up there. But they're up there. They're braced up. Everything's stout. Everything turned out perfect. All the measurements worked out perfect. So that's what I always like. Yeah. It's level, ready. Like I said, we could lath it tomorrow and it could be ready for metal. If oh. we didn't have those other two walls. Yeah, we didn't have them walls. I could lath it, you know, lath that up there. No problem tomorrow and be ready for metal. Put the fascia on this, you know, put the fascia on the outside and everything and be ready for metal. We're going to get to it though. Yeah, we're going to get the metal on it. Yeah, this week, it's going to have metal on it. If they're still making it, we're going to try to, we're gonna try our best to get the metal on it. We're going to try. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all.